sun steps down and escapes the day We'll calmly walk away, walk away from the frame When the structure falls and all else fails We will build it once again Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pelican, and welcome back to another Battlefield 4 video. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the new map Caspian Border for the Second Assault DLC. There are three other maps that I'll be covering in different videos, so this will be the first one in the series. So today, the gameplay was me in an F-35, which is a jet that has been added into the Caspian Border because normally, in the Battlefield 3 map, there was the flanker, and there was the normal American jet. I can, it, it escapes me what the normal American jet was called, but uh, they've changed it, so they've put the F-35 in now, and the F-35 is the hover jet, and uh, it's a lot better than it was in Battlefield 3, in my opinion. I think it's a lot easier to maneuver, and a lot easier to kill people. Along with that, I find it a lot easier to kill people in jets on Battlefield 4, which was something I found extremely hard in Battlefield 3 because of controlling the mouse and the keyboard with the gameplay. I mean, you can use a controller, but uh, I prefer to just never really touch controllers when I come into playing Battlefield. But I hope you guys will enjoy this and let's just get straight into my opinions on the new map Caspian Border. So out of everything that stood out for me straight away when I came onto Caspian Border and saw gameplay of Caspian Border, the graphics look amazing. The visuals are just insane. They're a lot more vibrant. The colors are a lot better. If you guys go back to Caspian Border, look at the trees and then come back to this, the trees look so much nicer, the ground looks so much nicer, the way that the game plays out is a lot better, obviously there's the new destruction, everything is just better about this map. In my opinion, Caspian Border was probably one of the best maps in Battlefield 3 along with Metro, and to see it come back in the second assault is just amazing for me, to see two of my favourite maps to come back is insane, and I think it's really good that they brought it back because not only have they made changes to the visuals but they've also changed how the game plays out. For example after a while you can knock down a little tower which becomes a little tunnel as you guys will see at some points of this gameplay which you can run up and get to the other side of the flag. It becomes very useful to have little engagements in those sections I find that uh, most of the time if I try and run up there I usually get shot most of the time so I have a little battle through there and it creates a cool environment where I'm fighting someone through I don't know low ground to high ground also you guys will notice that there is a giant wall around Caspian border now which is a wall that can be destructed through there is passageways you can blow through the walls you can climb up the walls if they've been blown into you can go into the little outpost tower things it's just amazing what they've done with this map has just blown me away in terms of how much they've done to it I I only assume that they would just improve the graphics of this game and perhaps the destruction. Not only that, but they've added all these new features, all these new different environmental things. And there's also a part where you can go under the map. It's under the water where you can sort of sneak up on people if you're if they're all underground and you can sneak up on them and just annihilate all of them. As for how the vehicles play out in this game, you get the standard two jets, a helicopter, four tanks, and a couple of jeeps. You can also get a gunship if the commander decides to call it in, and I find that having a commander on this map is a lot easier. For example, if he calls in a gunship and there's a tank on the high ground, for example, the middle point, C point, and you are in a position where you're getting completely annihilated, you can be in the gunship and shoot down at the tank to save your men. I find that having a commander in this is a lot more useful and a lot more fun. As of now, i found that uh, commander up until this point has been more or less useless. I've never liked to play it. A lot of people haven't really played it. And now that these maps, these big engagements, which have always been in Battlefield 4, but now the, I, I think that now the standard maps are back, it's encouraged more people to go ahead and play the game properly. So that's going to about do it for today's video guys, I hope you've all enjoyed, if you have please remember to subscribe, join Deluxe Legion today, and we are so close to 410 subscribers. You guys rock, put in the comment section which map you would like to see next, whether it be Metro, Firestorm or Golf of Omen. But until next time, have a really great day you guys, have a really great week, and I will see you guys later.